Simon's Cat token will be a complete failure and I've just lost thousands of dollars. That's what some people are saying, and I disagree. I've already covered it before, but we are imminent to the launch, so I'm going to cover it again. I'm going to tell you why my conviction is my conviction, and then you can decide what you want to do. This, of course, is not financial advice. Use this as a tool to help complete your own research. So this is a Twitter, Simon's Cat token. This is the actual Twitter account for the token. Simon's Cat, they have their own Twitter. I've already covered this before, and you should watch that larger video or longer video as well. But this is actually Simon's Cat. And this is Simon's Cat token, but they are linked. They are 100% linked. Now, I've gone ahead and I've bought some token fi. This is not a token I'm crazily bullish on, but it could actually end up doing well. This is from the Flocky team. They've created a, basically a staking launchpad. And I started with this amount. And then I had to buy more and more and more in order to stay in the master tier. Now, here is the blurb. We've already covered this before. They're trying to raise 4.25 million just to give you a little bit of a gist of information. I'm very confident they will do that with ease because a lot more demand has been coming in. Legend starts in one hour and my tier master starts in nine hours and 30 minutes. I'm also going to go over that I'm pretty sure everyone, everyone in all of these tiers will be fine. But in champion, if you're in champion, you need to get in quickly. This is like 2.30 in the morning for me. I've got another wallet uh, that has champion loaded on it. So I'll be jumping in there. Different tier amounts mean you can go and buy a different amount of the token. So if we scroll on down, we can see it down here. Masters 3K, champions 2K. And apprentice, it won't get there. Legend, of course, these two are a lot higher. There is a tool that will allow you to actually check. I think it's too late now for Simon's Cat though, but you can keep this in mind for any future hype launches that may come this way. You use a tier calculator, you do have to actually connect a MetaMask or Rabi wallet, otherwise it doesn't work. And as an example, I have 88,876 tokens. If I stake them just for three months without that multiplier, I do not have enough points. I've got very, very few points. The points I will get is this amount, but then as soon as you go and change it to four years, then we're okay. Then we're definitely just in this master area. Now, this is my rank. And for master, I think I have to be in the top 10% of wallets. So I should be okay. But I have been in master and then I keep on falling down to a champion. Then I have to buy more tokens, stake him. I've had to do that now. This is the fourth time I've had to do it. This is a breakdown from Discord based on the information and the tier allocation. Now, of course, this is slightly changed because more people are buying the token, the token fire token, they're staking it. So that's why we keep on being pushed down. If you're in the champion area, though, you will be okay. You just need to get an early. So for those that are master hero or legend, probably there'll be some people that are watching this video that are master. I mean, this is now like over $6,000 worth of token stake. So it's a large commitment for sure. We're looking at 800 people right there based on the fact that there's 8,000 people actually participating. Now with this thesis and logic, we basically see the first three tiers are extracting around 3.2 million. It's probably going to be a little bit higher now. Maybe it's like 3.3, which means champions left with just over a million. Of course, that means if everyone is using their full allocation and someone in legend may not want $25,000 worth of token, or maybe they do. And if everyone in the champion tier buys a full allocation, that's only 525 people. So I'll be setting my alarm, have your $1,000, $2,000 or whatever amount you have ready to go and use extra gas in your BNB wallet to make that transaction go through faster. Hopefully there's no UI issues or the website doesn't go down. Now I'm fairly confident that come the 22nd will be listed on Binance. That is my thesis. There's been nothing to confirm that, but that is what I think is going to happen. If it's not on the 22nd, it'll be sometime pretty soon after that. It does say here from Flocky, Binance will support the Simon's Cat, airdrop to Flocky holders, Binance the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, etc, etc, etc. We can click on this and have a read. So if we scroll on down, you can see there's 900 billion CAT that will be distributed. It's a 9 trillion supply. Binance will conduct the airdrop based on a snapshot to be taken on the 29th of August, 2024. So if you do want some flocky, maybe buying on Binance is not a bad idea. If we come right down to the bottom, it says the official Simon's Cat token contract is this. So make sure this is copied and make sure you know this is the only contract address you can use. We can see the supply is 9 trillion. There are 10 holders, very few transfers still going on through multi-sigs and whatnot. And there are no liquidity pools set up yet. Another thing is they now have a Telegram community. This is only very new. Hence, there's not a crazy amount of members, but I am seeing a lot of Chinese characters in this chat. And from my experience, when you start to see things with English and Chinese, you've got more of the world involved. So it's another reason why I'm a bit more bullish. There's another website, simons.cat. This was given to me by Bonk Guy, And I don't know if it's official because I can't see a link 
that goes directly from the token to here, but it looks like it's fairly official. We cannot buy cat yet, of course. We link to the Twitter and just some cool artwork, nothing crazy, and a tokenomics breakdown, which we already have information on. But just to cover again quickly, Simon's Cat Foundation, low market makers, community growth, the trading bot airdrop. Apparently, per Bonk Guy, if you trade cat with the Flocky trading bot, you will be eligible for a future airdrop of more cat. Treasury gets some, Flocky holders, big airdrop there, and then the pre sell and private sell investors over here. Now, Flocky, the token itself, has actually been going up in the last day or so. Maybe this has something to do with the fact that cat is now a little bit more hyped. And Flocky also has a trading bot. So I've got another tutorial on how to set that up and how to use that. You can watch that when you're ready. The last thing that I want to point out is this from Bonk Guy. I've seen some say pre-sale meme coins are bearish re Simon's cat. This is due to a fundamental misunderstanding about meme coins. I've made obscene, I've made obscene wealth trading meme coins across multiple cycles. So I believe I'm qualified to talk about them. Meme coins are launched in five main ways. I had a Twitter DM chat back and forth, gave me plenty of information. I think that's private, so I'll keep it there, but he has done well out of meme coins for sure. And he's very public with what he's doing. As an example, he's got a massive bonk position. He hasn't closed that. He knew he could have, but he just liked the fact that this is such a, a great thing to turn $16,500 into millions and millions of dollars. When you do it like that, you help the community. This is one of those things where you improve the space by being a holder and not closing things. Not everyone's going to do it. Of course, I'm going to take some profits, but I will have some sort of moon bag with cap. So we've got five main ways meme coins are launched. Fair launch, such as Sheep. If you don't know about Sheep, basically, if you bought some Sheep really early on, $1,000, it would have been worth a billion dollars at the top. It was absolutely insane. It was something along those lines. Essentially, you would have spent more on gas to do a transaction with Uniswap, because that was the first and only place that it was, than the tokens you would have actually got out, because the trading volume each day was like less than $100. It was crazy. Then you've got the airdrop meta with Bonk pre-sales. Boom, Insider Launch, Pepe, and then a bundled launch, Brett and Nero on ETH. Remember, Nero came out on ETH. It also came out on Solana with two different tokens. And in the end, Nero won on ETH in terms of market cap. So any of the top meme coins can be launched like this. I also want to point out that Water did a pre sale on Solana for $50 million, I'm pretty sure. Let's have a look and see if we can see it. The Twitter, this is a Twitter. They did a pre sale for Water, they did a pre sale for Time. I think they even did a pre-sale for bear. These kind of things, they extract an insane amount of liquidity. And you can just see it's just down only. It's completely down only. So there's a wrong way to do a meme coin. And that is with basically just hype and the people that launch it, they're the only ones that actually make profit. And then there's the right way to do a meme coin, which is to include a community, to grow a community. And I think this one has this nailed. We'll have to see how this plays out. I don't want to give too much in the way of early predictions. But I'm pretty confident if they deploy things the right way, if they mark the right way, if they use the pre-sale liquidity correctly, they should quite easily be able to generate maybe a $500 million market cap within a few months. But we'll have to wait and see. So that's all for this update. We'll see how it goes over the next week. And make sure you watch my video on how to set up the Flocky Telegram trading bot.